welcome back to our channel today i have here my four millimeter crochet hook and i'm going to make use of these two strands of my cotton yarn because this is too thin to use for a single one we're going to make a small basket and we're going to start with a magic circle We're going to make eight half double crochets on our magic ring. The size of this basket can easily be adjusted depending on your preference if you want it a little more bigger you can do so we're just going to start with a magic circle and eight half double crochet so one two three four five six seven and eight and now we're going to close our circle And close with a slip stitch chain one and this time we're going to make an increase two half double crochets in every chain So I have 16 half double crochet at the end of this round. I'm going to slip stitch, chain one, and this time we're going to make an alternate increase. On the first chain, we're going to make one half double crochet, then two half double crochets on the next chain. one half double crochet in the next and two half double crochets on the next chain so continue around and we're going to slip stitch when we reach the very first chain so to move up chain one and this time we're going to make one half double crochet on the next two chains Oops. and an increase on the next again one half double crochet on the next two chains and an increase on the next chain so you will just repeat this around until you reached our very first chain here and we're going to slip stitch to close the round so this will serve as the bottom of our basket and i am happy with the size of it you can increase doing the rounds if you want your basket to be a little bigger than what we have so i am happy i have one two three four rounds you can make until six seven or eight it depends on how big you want your basket so for the next round i'm going to start the sides of our basket i'm going to chain one and this time I'm going to make use of the back loop only. So one half double crochet in every chain around using the back loop only. Okay. 
this will start to form the sides of our basket So just continue using the back loop only in every chain for this round. So now we are done with the first row for the side of our basket. So again, chain one, and we're just going to make one half double crochet around. So far, I made one, two, three, four, and five rounds of half double crochet for the side of my basket. And I will be making one more before we do the top and the, uh, the strap. So I will just be making one more round for uh, my basket and I'll get back to you. So the number of rounds for the height of your basket will depend on how big or how small your basket is. You can do more or less rounds for the sides. So I'm happy with the size or with the height of my basket. So we're just going to do the top. I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to make a reverse single crochet. Doing a single crochet is from left to right, but this time it is a reversed single crochet. We're going to do it from the right going to the left. So instead of inserting our hook on the next chain on our left, we're going to insert on the right the next chain on your right and just do the normal single crochet insert your hook grab a yarn you have two loops yarn over and pull through both loops again insert your hook This will have a nice finish on top of your basket. So just continue around making your reverse single crochet. This is optional but if you find it hard to do it so it's okay. I just find it uh, a very nice finish so just continue around until we reach the last chain so this is my last reverse single crochet and this is where we start so I will just make a slip stitch inserting my hook on that next stitch and we are done now for the strap of your basket, I'm just going to make a certain number of chains. So I made 16 chains to test if this is okay with the strap. So to test if this is okay for the strap of my back. So this is still short. Again, for the strap or the handle of your basket, it depends on the size that you make. So I still find it short, so I will still add more. This is where I started. The strap of our basket. Make sure it's not twisted. And we're going to attach on the opposite side.
by making a slip stitch so before we start doing the strap we're just going to find the next stitch and make one single crochet and then we are going to start with our strap by making one half double crochet in every chain If you want your strap to be a little thinner, you can either use a single crochet or um, slip stitch. So I will just continue making one half double crochet and I will be back before I attach on the other side. So now I am at the end. So this is where we start. We can slip stitch on the next chain. Now we are done. I'm just going to cut my yarn and uh, sew our ends. If you want your basket to be a little more stiff, if you have a cornstarch spray, you can use that. You can also cut a cardboard box to put here at the bottom of your basket. So now we are ready for our Easter. You can make use of this uh, for your display. I have here a few of made eggs. So we can put those eggs in here. Or you can put some candies for uh, the Easter so again thank you so much for joining me today I hope you learned a thing or two so happy crocheting everyone and God bless